Words that don't seem related, but are. Sometimes, words we might not expect to have anything in common historically, even though they sound kind of alike, do in fact go back to the exact same source. Like flour and flour. They both came from French fleur. The baking ingredient was named that way because the part of the plant used to make it was considered the flour of the grain, the best part of it, taking away all the chaff and other impurities. Maneuver and manure. Maneuver comes from Latin manu operari, to work by hand. But so does manure, which was originally a verb meaning to till the land. Later, it became a word for the stuff you till into it. Etiquette and ticket. Etiquette was a French word for a note attached to something that listed its contents. It was borrowed into English as ticket and into Spanish as etiqueta, where it came to be associated with the listed rules of protocol for the Spanish royal court. It then came back into French and English with the social protocol meaning. Dignity and dainty. Latin dignus meant worthy. While dignity refers to a sense of worthy that includes serious notions of honor, respect, and rank, in dainty, Dignus lives on in the sense of being worthy for being delightful, precious, and pleasing. Tulip and turban. Both words are approximations of the Persian word for turban, dulband, which a tulip was said to resemble. Grammar and glamour. Grammar goes all the way back to Latin and Greek, where it referred to all aspects of the study of literature. In the Middle Ages, it came to be associated with just the linguistic parts, and particularly with the study of Latin. The fancy educated class studied Latin, but also things like magic and astrology. So the word grammar sometimes referred to that aspect, too. A mispronounced version, glamour, went on to stand for the magical, enchanting quality we use it for today. <laughs>